Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the login part using Python with MySQL. Uh, Python Geo application I have made already. Here, let me check. Here, this is a simple login. If you enter the uh, wrong username and password, incorrect username and password. Okay, if you enter the correct username and password, if you enter uh, this is a correct username and password. Okay, it is here. John is a username, password one two three. Click login button. Login success. Okay, so very simple. Okay, this is this is the this uh, this is simple program. How to do step by step? We'll see. Okay, uh, if you are not watch my basic Python tutorial, you must watch and come to this tutorial. That tutorial I will be explain every stuff how to install the MySQL driver, all the stuff I have explained. I gave the link in my video description. You just go through that link and you can watch it all over my tutorial. You just uh, you just come back here. Uh, you can understand everything. Okay. Now here, uh, if there are many students who are problem with by installing the MySQL connector. Okay, if, if you are install the MySQL connector, you can't get the MySQL connector. What you are going to do is here, go to the file, setting, here, this is your project, okay, which name is login, okay, so expand it, here, Python inspector, here, click this plus sign, here you have to uh, search MySQL connector, MySQL connect, MySQL, you have to just type MySQL, here you can get it the MySQL. I already uh, the, uh, those connector uh, I already installed. That's why it, it won't show here. If you are type MySQL, you can get this all the connectors. Okay, MySQL connector, MySQL connector, Python. This this three connector you must install. Okay. After install it, click OK. Your problem has been solved. Okay. If there is any problem with while connecting the MySQL connector, my MySQL with Python. Okay, this is simple things you have to do. Okay, after that, this is the geo application I have made. So we have a tick inter. This is a pipe. You have to import the tick inter. Uh, this is the package where you can uh, it, it will be implemented to write the geo application in Python. Okay, this is a message box. We have to write this package. This is all the called as a class and import the, those package. Right? Okay. Now, first what I am going to do is here, I am going to uh, create a user interface very simple user interface. I have created root tk uh, root. I have first I have to make the title as login. Okay, you have to make the title login as a title. Okay, here your title. This is the uh, dimension of the size of the screen size. Your dimension you have to keep, put here uh, root dot. Okay, this is the size we have to implement it here. Uh, you can view any size over here. Okay. After that, I have to create two global variables e1, e2. Here I have the two labels we have created. Uh, how to achieve by the task is label root text equal username. This is a label text box where we set the path, uh, where we set the location here. Place x equal 10, y equal, uh, y equal 10 means this is the position we have set it here. After the password, also we have set x equal 10 y equal 40 means this is the place where the password should be appear appear okay where the place the password should be appear here okay that's the stuff you have to explain it here x and y okay it is mentioned by set the location location where the uh, label should be appear on the phone right the, uh, where the where the password should be appear what is the where is the uh, uh, username should be appear right okay same stuff you have done by the text box as well you have to get ex1. We already get the global entire uh, root. Here, here e1 dot place. Here also we have set the place where your text box need to be appear. Okay. So here xh. This is the place. Uh, this is a password text. Here password text. I have to. Uh, this is not a. Uh, this we have to configure as a asterisk because password uh, password uh, you have to type as asterisk. No one can see. Okay. So we have to write like this, e2 config show the asterisk mark. Here you can, by, uh, when you type this one, it all the typing should be coming as an asterisk. Okay, right. After we have one button, button wrote the button where your button will, will be appear on the fourth page here. 
this is the position you can okay this is a pitch okay on the root main loop mean it will be display over here right now the design is over this is a very simple design we have made it on uh, tkinter python tkinter now let me do the validation part how to connect with the database how to establish a database connection right so let me go to our database mysql mysql i have already created the database which is sms school inside the sms school database we have created the table called login login table consists of this following simple columns right username and password uh, with the data this is a simple data we have it is consists of this simple data right so uh, here when you click login button okay when you click login button so here this is a command i have written okay right this is a command okay it goes to that particular command okay when you click login button it goes to the particular command okay so here this is the function of i have written the okay function okay here uh, in uh, python here write like this a uh, function def your function name what is the function name you have given okay okay it's coming here here let's write the simple code over here right this is code which will be connected all the stuff okay first i have established a database connection right database i have created the sms sm score here you can see the database name which is a sm score inside the database we have a table called login login table consists of two columns username and password these are the data we have uh, we have entered some some data okay username password right so let's back to our login right so here first what i'm this is the, this how we have implemented implemented database connection mysql db mysql connect and connect okay so first we have to implement the mysql class okay import mysql connected okay while we importing if there are any problem i will be show you if there are any problem about the mysql connector if you are while installing you are solve out like this okay go to the setting your project in python inspector here click on this one here you have to uh, type mysql here install package okay if you have your type here mysql i already installed that's why it's not appear here here mysql you have just click install okay like this okay mysql connector this all the three connectors are important you just click and uh, install it okay all the stuff after that click okay the problem the error should, should be solved okay after that we have write the my cursor this is the mysql uh, connection we have dot cursor after that username password okay so what is the what is the things we are does is here this is the username text box this is a password text box e1 e2 okay so we have to assign to the variable okay in python you name pass this are variable i have created this this two variable you have to assign to the particular text box what is the username you are typing what is the password you are typing it will be assigned to this variables right after that we have to write the sql query over here you have to create the variable sql equal select all from logging we have a logging table okay we have to check username and password both are match or not so here what's the password and username and password you are entered on this text box so you have to match with the sql statement so select all from login table where you name parameter we have to pass parameter and password okay we have to pass it use username and password okay so it will be matched those uh, these two uh, which is in the database this is called as database columns okay username and password but the data main columns right uh, the user enter on the uh, uh, text box which is appear which is uh, in the, which will be match on these columns user validation successfully okay so here mysql execute sql this sql we have to call this one you name and password these two are coming from the text box field these are database field if both are match we are testing here execute and match those so result dot mysql cursor fat short okay we have to uh, we have to execute the query and we have to both match or not we have to check here right if results message if it is uh, match we have to display the message yes login success okay login success 
that's the stuff we have to do login success we have to do the message uh, coming the message as login success okay so we have to only we have to type login success if there are any problem with the login uh, the username is not uh, password is do not match the on the database table this, if, when, when the username and password you are typed if it is not matched on the table it throw the error message as incorrect username and password okay, very simple it's a return true false if it is if the username and password is matched if it is true if if the username and password is uh, do not match here incorrect username and password okay okay this is the simple stuff we have explained okay i hope you guys you understood the concept well this is the working flow you are following on python very simple uh, i will meet in meet on the uh, another good tutorial thank you for watching if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching